In today's Moodle moment, I want to show you how you can use the embed feature in Moodle to post videos, documents, and images so that students can view them regardless of the software or tool that they use for accessing Moodle. This becomes especially important as our students are using iPads without Flash or other software installation that we were used to having when we were a Microsoft school and using networked computers. The first thing that you want to do is identify the video that you're going to use for the classroom. In this case, I found a TED-Ed video on the mysteries of vernacular. And as language is a way of knowing that we study in theory of knowledge, I've reviewed this video and it provides some interesting conversation starters for our discussion on language as a way of knowing. So after I've determined that the video is appropriate and how I will use it in my lesson, I simply scroll down to the bottom of the video where there are different options of what I can do with the video. You want to click on share and it defaults with share this video and gives you a link. But what I want to do is embed this video. And you can see that it comes up with the HTML code. One of the things we can choose is what size do we want this. So it could be a custom size that's smaller, but since this is going to be the only thing on my page in Moodle, I'm actually going to make it a little bit larger. And you can see that as soon as I change the size, then the code is changed. So I simply copy what's been the HTML code in the embed feature. And then I go over to my Moodle page and the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have editing on so that you can actually change or update things in your Moodle site. And then you simply scroll to the module that you want to add this. So I'm going to add this to quarter one of our senior year. And your choice is to add a resource and I'm going to create a page. And what this does is creates a web page so that it can be viewed as a web page instead of needing to have software in order to view it. As it pulls up the page, you have to name it a name. So I'm going to put vernacular just because this is a, a trial here. And the description is our TOK description. And then when you go down to content and you want to add what's actually going to be seen, one of the options is a button called HTML. And if you remember, the embed code was in HTML. So all you do is click on HTML and it brings up a source editor. I can now paste that HTML code by using Control V. Remember, mouse clicks don't work in an HTML editor, so you do want to use the Control V shortcut. Go down to Update, and you can see that my video appears in the screen. Now, the only reason that this is showing up as a problem is because my plugin for Mozilla is not updated. Okay, I go down and Save and Display so that I can check that everything is displaying properly. And you can see that the video, once I activate my account, is ready to go. And this is what it looks like when the students actually see it. So you can see that instead of it popping up or taking them to YouTube, it simply is embedded within the Moodle course and they can watch the video. Now we can do the same thing with a URL and let me show you how we do that. So for this demonstration, I'm going to use the CAS guide creativity action and service. And you can see that I have a guide and it is available as a web page. I've already had it pull up here, so it creates a link that I can copy, and then I can go back to my page, and this time when I go to add a resource, I'm going to add a URL. But instead of just linking to that URL, I'm going to show you how we can embed it. So in here, I'm going to put cast guide, and Again, it doesn't matter for demonstration purposes, and I always want to go to content. So again, using Control V to paste, I put in my link, and this is where we need to change the options. You see it's an automatic display. That means it will display and send you out. But if we go to embed, then it's going to take the information on that page and embed it within the course. So if I go to save and display, you can see that the students actually can access the document right here within Moodle. So they don't have to worry about compatibility with PDF Reader or any other um, 
problems that they may encounter as they're doing that. So again, you can see that when they go back to their course and click on Cast Guide, this is not sending them out to the web, but it is actually embedded right in the course. I hope you've enjoyed this quick tip on how to make things viewable for students when they're using their iPad.